been very little time. No goal. Wow. Wow. That hits the right arm of Corey Burke. It does. Welcome to Instant Replay presented by Cheese It for MLS Week 9. I'm Andrew Wiebe with Charlie Davies. Big week. Handballs, PKs, red cards galore. Charlie, get us started with the magic word. Let's go. And we start in Nashville, Judas Park to be exact. The very first game, Nashville are looking for their winner. Corner kick into the box. Walker Zimmerman rises. He can't get to it, but Corey Burke does, Charlie. But, oh, Lord, is that a chicken wing? It's not called on the field, but you and I can both see with our very own eyes, as can everybody else at home, including those in the video review booth, that that ball hit Corey Burke in the arm. It's not called on the field by referee Chris Pinto and his crew, but Kevin Terry Jr., the VAR, flags him. Go to the monitor, says Kevin. Chris Pinto does. He says, no PK. My call on the field stands. Do you agree? I don't agree. Weeby, in my opinion, this should be a handball and a penalty for Nashville. All right, so we're not in any disagreement here that it hits arm. That means, Charlie, that Corey Burke's arm has to be in an unnatural position. What makes it unnatural in your opinion? In my opinion, his arm is a little outstretched from his body. Now, it's on the borderline of natural position for the movement versus it being in a position outstretched away from his body. But as I see it, you're a striker. You're trying to head the ball out. And if you miss it, you mistime it, and it hits your forearm, this should be ruled a penalty kick. This is a tough call, but in my opinion, this should be a handball. And if it had been, Nashville are going to the spot with an opportunity to win at home and start with fireworks. I'm with you, Charlie, in the sense that this is a near impossible call. It is right on the borderline for natural and unnatural. But again, in my opinion, I think Chris Pinto is well within his rights to say this is not a penalty kick. The reason being... I think this is a pretty natural position. It's not deliberate from Corey Burke. I don't think he sees the ball coming because it's coming over Walker Zimmerman's head. He's caught unsighted. From the forward view, looking from the union goal on, it sort of looks like his arm is way extended, reaching out, maybe going toward the ball. But when you see the side view, it looks like his arm is pretty tucked. Yes, it hits the arm, but I think Chris Pinso is well within his rights to say, no, my call on the field was the one I'm sticking with. No handball, but either way, this is going to be a call that gets a lot of people up in arms, depending on what side they're on. I will say, Weeby, that when his arm makes contact with the ball, it's moving away from his body, not coming to his body. So that, I think that also plays into why I think this should be a penalty, because it's, it's coming towards the ball instead of moving away from it. I get it, man. I tracked his arm from the beginning of the play when he's running forward to the point it hits. In my opinion... There's not a considerable amount of motion toward the ball. It's pretty consistent. He's running with his arm at his side. He gets unlucky. I think this is fine to be no handball, but it's going to split opinions. All right, let's go fire Red Bulls. This one had a lot of calls that a lot of people on Twitter were getting in our mentions about. 15th minute, Ashley Fletcher called for the handball. I completely agree. Well done to the referee, John Freeman, and the VR, Victor Rivas. Fletcher, unlike in my opinion, Corey Burke, is clearly moving his arm toward the ball and making his arm bigger in a natural way. In my opinion, great call. I think that's a penalty. How about 18th minute, Charlie? Video review overturns this Tom Edwards goal on a Red Bull set piece. We can both agree Aaron Long is in an offside position, but does he interfere with the play? Weeby, I think this goal should have stood. Aaron Long, yes, he was offside. But when he came back on and tried to make a play for the ball, it was 0-4 who held on to him, not allowing him to try and get to the ball. And 0-4 couldn't have got to the ball. It's an unplayable ball. So I think that whole play is unnecessary and irrelevant towards the goal. Tom Edwards comes in and scores the goal. He was onside, and for me, there was no distraction for the goalkeeper. Therefore, this goal should have stood. All right, 86th minute, one more play from this one. Video review gives a penalty to the Red Bulls, and they win! Should it have been called? Yes, absolutely it should have been called. Folks, this is a trip, all right? Victor Rivas, well done for flagging it, and good job to John Freeman for saying, hey, missed that one, that is a PK. Red Bulls win. All right, Charlie, we've got a little practice on that Tom Edwards goal. We have back-to-back -back offside interference calls. We'll start with Jonathan Lewis in Colorado on Lalas Abubakar's goal. Offside for you? Yes, this is offside. Right when it comes off the head of Lalas, Abu Bakar, Jonathan Lewis is making an attempt to screen the goal. Yes, he's not. it's not egregious. It's not right in front of him, but he did 
interfere. There was contact. He came away from it. This was a great call from the officiating crew. And I think it was pretty clear in the RSL LA game as well that there was interference on the Jovlich goal. You see the little push there in the back that opens things up. No goal. Well done to both those crews. I just want to flag another two plays from the Colorado-Portland game. Diego Rubio was not happy about the two yellow cards he got. He said, hey, this is not right. Well, Diego, I know you're upset, man, but I think both of those are legitimate yellow cards. They both look like reckless tackles to me. One, you're late lunging in. Two, you're rolling under a player's body late once again. To me, those are fine yellows, man. I'm sorry. How about this penalty, Charlie? Orlando Charlotte. Alan Franco draws it, almost gets Charlotte back into this game. They lose 2-1. Do you like this penalty call? Might be shoulder to shoulder. Weeby, I do think it's a little harsh. Schlegel does come in and make contact shoulder to shoulder. I can tell you how many times I've been put on my rear end in that same position and was never awarded a penalty. The whistle didn't even come close to the official's lips. So for me, this is a tad harsh on Orlando City. Well, those officials knew, Charlie, that you needed to hit the weight room, all right? But the reason why I think this is okay is because Schlegel is not playing the ball at all. He sizes up the man, and he says, I'm taking him out, and then he goes and does it. I think you have to at least attempt to play the ball. He played the man. I'm okay with this call. How about this? Daniel Shawi going under pressure in the 20th minute. He gets a PK call. You like this? No question. This is a penalty. Sporting Kansas City fans, here is your call. From all the stuff I hear on Twitter that Sporting Kansas City doesn't get this and doesn't get that, this is your call. And here is your certification from the instant replay crew. We usually charge for that, Charlie, but this time it's on the house. If you want to see some good old poop housing from one Felipe Hernandez, check out this one on Daniel Shawi's second goal. He gives the Dallas goalkeeper a little tap on the back of the head. Never a red card for those of us that are mentioned saying send him off for that, by the way. And here are some certified second yellows. Let's run through them quickly, Charlie. Brandon Cervania, come on down. What are you thinking? Yellow card. Here you go. Damian Lowe, you're looking for a yellow card too. Would you like to take down Adam Buxa as the final man? Did someone say two yellows? Yep, I did. Ding, 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 ding. And not to be outdone, Jairo Quinteros, who I thought got harshly done by initially, Charlie, but you spotted it with your eagle eyes. What happened here? Well, Weeby, it's the case of I'm already on yellow card. I come from behind with a reckless challenge, stepping on the foot of a center forward who's checking into his own half. Not the smartest play. Oh, no siree, Bob. That's it for us, though. Let us know what you think. Anything you disagree with or agree with, whatever it might be. And if you'd like a certification, get in our mentions. Big thanks to our producer, Rich Hernandez, and our editor, Phil Lavanco. For Charlie Davies, I'm Andrew Weeby. We'll see you next time.